right, so uh, CHP's behind me with a break. We've got a report of a four vehicle traffic collision ahead of us here at Crenshaw with uh, what sounds like one person ejected, front part of the vehicle's on fire. There's a party laying in lanes in the middle lanes and they've already got tow trucks in the blind. Again, uh, CHP is behind us with a break and we're gonna be rolling up here momentarily. We're coming up on it. So he's, he's right behind us. We should see brake lights as we come over the crest here, but we should have a vehicle. Yeah, I see flashers and we should have a vehicle on fire. Yeah, I can see the smoke, it's further. Wow. Yep, alrighty. Yep, vehicle on fire, there it is. Vehicle on fire, everybody in lanes here. Look at this. Holy crap. All right. And we got debris in lanes everywhere. We're going to be, uh, I don't even know where, I don't know where our best spot's going to be. I think we're going to go past it and look back is probably going to be our best bet. Oh yeah, they're, they're, if they're ejected out, yeah, that car hit the side and there's a body. It looks like there's a body out of the car. So we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go on the left side here. They in the, they in the roadway? Yeah, there's a body right there. Mm -hmm. All right, four vehicle, TC. Cool. All righty. So we're waiting for the break, right? Yeah, we're gonna wait for the break. We're ahead of. Uh, oh no, fires! Fires here, so we're we're out. We're out. We're not waiting for the break. Pretty wild, huh? Keep the camera this direction because there's a there's a body right there. All right. We good? Yeah. That's pretty rough. I don't I don't think he's breathing. So if they uh, if they transport then okay, but I, I don't I don't think they're gonna transport. Well we'll see. We'll see. There's a little bit of uh, debris next to him. I'm not sure if he's uh, I don't I don't think he's with us any longer. But we'll find out. We've got one uh, one guy ejected out here on the roadway. 
I'm not seeing him breathing at all, and we're not sure if anybody else is inside this car over here. They are going to transport though, so once they once they go to do that, then he's he's not breathing. He's not breathing at all. So. I hope nobody else is in there. So they're gonna transport. Uh, I'm not sure. They're kind of they're set up for it, but I'm not I'm not sure if they're going to. We'll see what uh, we'll see what ends up happening here. If they transport, then oh, um, he, no, there's no way. He's well, I shouldn't say no way, but it uh, doesn't look good. They're, they're debating it right now. You can see they're, they're talking about it and they're debating if they're gonna transport it. I, I don't, I don't know, I'm kinda, there's, uh, there's some discussion going on right now about whether or not they're actually gonna, they're gonna take this poor guy, but he, he looks pretty, he looks pretty out. So yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna cover him. We're gonna have to ask. All right, they covered him. So they pronounced him. It's uh, it's gonna be 217. So this is a. Uh, this is a fatal crash now. This body's right there. We're, if uh, if Tay does pan by it, Alex, just make sure you blur it. And I don't think, uh, I don't know if we have anyone else in there, but we're gonna find out here in a second. They're looking up in the hill to see if there's any, any victims that were ejected, but... You can see how fast LA City is. We got here pretty quick. We saw the engines rolling up and you can see they got a knockdown like that. So they make uh, they make pretty quick work on fires like this fairly often. How's it going? Hey, in about five, 10 minutes, we're probably gonna open up the building. Okay, then I'll, I'll be out of here before then. Okay, well, we'll we'll take off. Right, it's, it's um, we got the fire and stuff, so it's, that's it. Is there anybody else in the car or no? No, just a solo 44. Just ejected while he was spinning, huh? Uh, Crazy. They just called it right now too. I saw it. I was I was thinking they were gonna transport. They put the gurney yeah. down and then they they changed their mind. So, well, wait. What was with the other night, by the way, with all the wrong ways? Were you working uh, three nights ago, two nights ago? Ooh, we had uh, six wrong way driver calls in uh, one night between uh, East LA, you guys, and Altadena. There was like six calls. Yeah, it was the weirdest thing. I don't know what was. Uh, Can I change your mind? Uh, Two of the six they got. Okay. Yeah, but uh, then, I don't know if it's a policy change, but when people go wrong way now, they're like, cancel the pursuit. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, no. to me, I'm like, no, 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 you really got to get them now because that's, you know, yeah, dangerous, that's man. even crazier. So yeah. I don't know, but it was something, uh, some, know, something in the air, I guess. I don't know. So, all right, I'll, I'll be out of here in five minutes. I appreciate the warning. Thank you. So, uh, they're going to be opening up the number one, uh, I think he said the number one, possibly the number two lane. Um, the gentleman who was ejected uh, was the solo occupant inside the vehicle, and um, that's going to be it. Just, uh, just that one guy, unfortunately, and it looks like he was ejected, and then the car caught on fire. I didn't see any burns on his body, so um, looking at that, um, probably no seatbelt. I don't know what the speeds would be. The car is pretty munched. I'm not sure the speeds, but it's uh, it's a pretty uh, 
pretty serious uh, situation. But again, if he was wearing a seatbelt, then who knows, right? He's stuck in the car, the car's on fire, but it's always a better start to be wearing a seatbelt. So pretty unfortunate.